let's say that you want stronger bones, or maybe even you want to reshape the bones in your face right now. Yes, quite literally, that is possible, and it won't happen at basically overnight, but it actually is possible for this to happen. And as time goes on, your bone structure will quite literally become completely redefined, especially if you understand basically the underlying biological concept of how this works. Now, yes, this actually means that you are able to quite literally change your attractiveness because uh, the facial attractiveness of anybody quite literally is just dictated by the bone structure. Not only that, that does technically mean that you can actually change your height as well. And not only that, you can make your bones even more equipped for being able to deal with contact sports and any sort of sports situation. Yes, all of that actually is possible and you can make your bone density increase. And yes, biological systems are very good at adapting. And even though if you aren't in your adolescence, you can still quite literally change all of these futures. The only difference is that during adolescence, it's way, way easier. And not only that, you'll probably get a little bit better results and more quicker results. But if you are doing this after adolescence and basically as an adult, you can still get the same results, but it will take a bit of a longer time. And it'll probably also take, uh, if you want to increase the results, it'll probably take more pressure. But we're gonna be going into this and you'll be in understanding what I'm talking about. Now, this actually all comes down quite literally to just gravity and pressure, otherwise known as Wolf's Law in this case. Now, we already know that this does exist and this quite literally can happen because we can make the opposite happen. Yes, we can actually make their bones even weaker. Now, how exactly could we do this? Well, this is where we come to astronauts in space, where if we actually look at many of the astronauts in space, we would realize very, very quickly that if they stay up in space for too long and they basically don't don't actually end up working out or putting strain on their bones one way or another, their bone density will significantly, significantly decrease. And that's a really big deal because they're going to come back to earth and they're going to basically have some serious bone problems. Now that is not what you want. And they probably don't want that either. Now, Understanding this though is exactly how we can get to the results that we want to get. Yes, that's right. This comes to increasing the bone density and actually quite literally increasing whatever it is that you're trying to change about your bones. So that basically means in order to one, change your attractiveness, yes, as an adult, or even for that matter, change whether or not you are taller or even change whether or not you are built for sports, quote unquote, built for sports, because you can just increase your bone density uh, regardless. Once again, this all does come down to understanding Wolf's Law and understanding pressure. Now, if you're interested in seeing the development of how quickly this can occur, for instance, with uh, sports, then I recommend you check out my channel because I already made a video on that and I go through basically the day-to-day -day process of how I exactly I felt and how I was getting used to it. Now this once again doesn't just apply to the video um, that I made in terms of sleep but it also does apply to basically all of your bones and you could just increase the bone density of any part of your bone by understanding this concept. Now this is once again very important because you don't want to be applying the pressure constantly without any rest whatsoever. You do need to let your bones heal a little bit and you can can actually apply that uh, pressure constantly without letting your bones heal, but the process will be taking much longer and I wouldn't really recommend that. Now, let's just start with basically how you become more durable in sports. So for instance, let's say you're trying to make your arms stronger. Maybe it's even your rib cage stronger because you constantly are getting your rib cage absolutely destroyed during maybe basketball where you're getting accidentally elbowed in the rib cage or even in the face for that matter. Uh, that a lot of personal experience with that one. Or maybe even whether or not you're getting your legs hit or maybe your hip, you're falling on your hip or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Now let's just apply this concept of what we learned about Wolf's Law to making our bone structure stronger and more durable for sports. Now you might hear that a lot of people are always talking about, oh man, it's very important to exercise in order to make your bone structure stronger because that's really important and a very important part of exercise. However, I'm here to tell you that you don't necessarily need to get that same bone improvement through exercise. In terms of muscle development, yes, you will need some exercise 
exercise. However, in terms of bone development, you won't need exercise, which sounds very strange because you're saying, what? I can get that exact same bone development without exercise? Yes, in fact, I'm not only saying that, I'm saying you can probably even get it better. And yes, that sounds absolutely absurd. So how exactly can you do that? Well, this is where we come to sleeping on the floor. Yes, that might sound absolutely absurd, but remember, let's just apply Wolf's Law to what we just learned. First, we already know that Wolf's Law basically states that applying pressure and applying that pressure consistently will actually increase the bone density. And this is because it will cause those microfractures and afterwards the bones will need to repair themselves and make themselves more dense. Yes. Sleeping on the floor does exactly this for that matter. It actually increases the amount of pressure being put on the bones once again. And yes, if you do this for long enough and if you're interested in the whole process of that and how exactly it feels, then go check out that video because I made a video on that. Now that might sound uncomfortable or maybe even ridiculous or ludicrous, but regardless of whatever you think it is, it is possible to do it. And if you are once again interested in the details of that whole process, as well as a little bit of details on how to help you during that process, then I recommend you go check out that video because it'll talk a little bit more about that and I'll be explaining how you can get used to it. And not only that, at the very end of it, you probably won't ever want to sleep on your bed again. And yes, I'm not joking when I say that because turns out the floor is way more comfortable than the bed. And yeah, even your bones quite literally t are telling you that exact same thing. But you said that it can also change height and facial structure. And clearly it can change your bone density in terms of making you more durable, but how exactly could you change those? Well, those are a little bit more complex, so I'm gonna be going into those in future videos. Once again, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful and informative and very interesting for that matter, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below because it really does help the channel grow. And if you're interested in seeing all of my videos ahead of time, click the join button down below where you can see all of my videos ahead of time as well as support me personally. So please go click that join button. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.